the more language you have, sometimes it can get very convoluted. And I didn't want that for the voters. I want them to know what they're voting for. When voters in Colleen do head to the polls this November, one of the big issues on the ballot is going to be pot. Residents will have to decide whether the city should decriminalize small amounts of marijuana. If approved, Colleen would join a handful of Texas cities to do so. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil has the details. The decriminalization of marijuana has been a long time conversation across Texas, a topic top of mind in Colleen. To have a specific sentence to just lay out in layman's terms what exactly they're voting for is very important. After a petition with just over a thousand signatures and a move by the city council, it will be on the ballot come November 8th with a minor adjustment. The things that have to go along with that are procedural. If we were to enforce this, would come along with the ordinance, but that's not for the voters to decide. With a push from Mayor Pro Temp Ken Wilkerson, a sentence will be added to help voters decipher what exactly they're voting on. What we ultimately agreed on was to have the verbiage up front. But some say work is needed to the proposition itself. There is some questionable verbiage in the proposal and it says um, except, except limited circumstances. Anna Harris says the basis of the prop is solid and could drastically declutter the docket. But I think there needs to be verbiage clarifying what, you know, except lim limited circumstances. They can't charge with a class C misdemeanor or paraphernalia in lieu of that marijuana just to get somebody. That's pretty awesome. Like they cut, they covered a lot of bases, but then they left it wide open. As it is now, if approved, Colleen police will no longer be able to arrest or issue citations for class A or B marijuana offenses, except for cases related to felony incidents. KPD has released previous statements saying they do not agree with this proposition. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News.